For this trick, we're gonna have a mixed up deck of cards. We can mix them up even more if we like, and you can have your spectator cut the cards if they want, and then you're gonna get into the trick. So you'll hand the pack to the spectator, and you ask them to deal four piles onto the table. Now remind them that there are four suits in every deck of cards. It's hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. So they're gonna deal onto four piles until they wanna stop. They can go as long as they want, they can stop whenever they want. So they'll just deal and deal and deal. Let's say they keep going. Let's say they stop right there. We get rid of the rest of the pack, put it aside. We'll take the top four cards, one from each of the piles, and put them aside. Then one by one, you're gonna ask them to pick up the rest of the cards in the pile in front of it, mix them up, pick any one card from this pile, put it here and get rid of the rest of the cards. Now they'll do it again. They're gonna pick these pile up, this pile, they'll mix them, pick any one card. Let's say they pick this one and they put the rest aside. Now the next pile, mix them up, pick any card they want. Let's say they pick this one and they put the rest aside. And then the last pile, again, they mix them up and they'll pick any card they want. Let's say they pick this card and they get rid of the rest of the pile. Now we're gonna to look to see how they did as far as getting the suits to match. So in this case, they had a diamond and they picked another diamond. In this pile, they had a spade and they picked another spade. In this pile, they had a heart and they picked another heart. In the final pile, they had a club and they picked another club. So this trick does require a little bit of setup, but I think it's well worth it because the effect is very strong. So you'll start by placing your cards in this order, diamonds, then spades, then hearts, then clubs. Now it could be any card you want in that suit, but you're gonna follow that same pattern all the way through. So diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs, all the way through the entire deck. Now, if you were to cut these cards, you don't actually change the order of the suits, you just change the starting point. So you can cut as many times as you want. You can even do one of these sloppy shuffles where you take some off the top, and then you put some from the bottom onto the top, and then from the top onto the bottom, and bottom onto the top, like that. Looks like you're shuffling, but you're really just cutting the cards. Uh, makes it look a little more confusing. You don't really even need to do that though. It's so convincing because you begin by showing that the cards are all mixed up. So there's no reason to do any other cuts or shuffles. But you can, if you want to convince them, just give them a quick cut. You can let them cut the cards and then they start dealing onto the table. Now I'm going to deal them face up so you can see what's happening here. It doesn't matter where they start from. It's always going to go into these four suits, right? So they can deal as many cards as they want because every card in that pile is going to be the same suit. It has to be because you separate the cards into the suits. So now no matter where they stop, let's say they stop right there, you get rid of the rest of the deck. The top four cards that you're going to pull aside, of course, are going to match all the rest of the cards in the piles. So it doesn't matter how much they mix this pile up and pick a card, it's gonna always match this one. Of course, you'd be doing this face down. You'd have them mix these cards up and they pick any card. You can mix this pile up and they can pick any card. Finally, the last pile, they mix them up and they pick any card. Of course, all four of these will match. They have to, because that's the way you set the deck up. And what's great about this trick is that after you perform it, the cards are kind of all mixed up and you can go into some other trick. They'll never figure out the method because now the cards are no longer in that order.